I am convinced that I have curated Amazon down so much that it's getting super hard to shop on Amazon for me. But I did find a few things to share with you guys in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Brandy. On my channel, I do vlogs and a whole lot of home decor. So if you like those type of videos, check out some of my past videos. I have a ton, and I mean a ton, a very curated Amazon home decor on my channel. I have my Amazon storefront, I'll leave it down below. But today I have a few items to share with you guys. If you have been following our Vlogmas videos that we've been putting out, I found a barrister cabinet that I have turned into a little mini bar and it is so beautiful. I was gonna paint it, I was gonna do all this stuff to it, but honestly, it is like this gorgeous walnut wood tone that is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave it how it is, but I found some items on Amazon that I want to add to the little mini bar and a few other items. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I did a little test purchase with this piece here. Isn't that beautiful? This is for your bidders. There was actually a couple different ones that I was gonna buy. I figured I'm gonna purchase this one first, see about the quality, and if I like this one, then I'm gonna get the other two. This is so beautiful. Look at the like diamond cut. Oh, it's just stunning. And I put a little lamp in my bar that just helps these you know, cut glass just sparkle a little bit more. But this is the one that I loved the most. The other two that I am going to purchase, I'll put a picture right here, but one is like this fluted, it looks a little bit shorter. Same with the silver, you can also get gold. And then one was just plain with no detail in the glass, but I thought having the different styles was just really pretty for the bar display, so. This is the first purchase. I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. And what I really love is for the bar, I've been really into the silver, which if you guys have been around, you know that I love brass, especially on lacquered brass, but polished nickel is really making its way into my heart and into my home. So I went with a little silver cap on this one and I just love the way silver looks on a bar. It just looks super classy. And then the next piece that I got, which honestly looks a little prettier in the picture than it does in person, but I still really do like it and decided to keep it. This is actually the second one that I purchased because the first one that I purchased, it came, it was a different one that came in the box. I shared that over on the vlogs, but I got this little cocktail mixing glass and I love these. I have another one that I have all of my utensils in. So I have my muddler in there. I have a strainer, a jigger. It's all kind of stored in there. So I wanted another one that I can just grab and use to mix our cocktails because that one really is more for display. So this is the one that I got. I really do love it. And I love that it's different than the one that I have currently. So. I got that. Now, when it comes to bar styling, I am I am the same with my bar styling as I am with the rest of my home. And I really love to have a home that flows and that flows from one room to another. And that is really thought out when it comes to the decor choices. So with my bar, I really do try to put out the pretty bottles. I even, I am guilty of buying liquor bottles just for the bottle alone for the decor purposes. But we do have a cabinet in our kitchen that has some of like the bigger bottles or the bottles that are not so pretty. So I bought this decanter here, this cut crystal decanter to put in some of those bottles that are not my favorite that I wouldn't put out for display because in my mind, when you're styling a space, you really wanna be mindful of how it looks. Even when it comes to a bar, I like function, but I'm obviously very into beauty as well. And when I think about restaurants that I go to or different high-end bars, they have those bottles curated. You don't really see like the loud, obnoxious labels. So I want to do that with my bar as well. And that way it's just like a kind of like, you know, sophisticated, sexy vibe and not 
like young in college, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So some of those bottles that I don't love, I do want to put into decanters so that I really can fill up that space and have pretty bottles out there. The bar is actually a lot smaller than I thought, which is great because I can buy less for it, especially when it comes to the liquor and be able to kind of rotate that through. And then the other thing that I got, now I've shared these glasses with you guys a while ago. I got them from Crate and Barrel, but I ended up using them for a client project and I bought them again on Amazon and they came, they weren't the right glasses. So I thought I'm going to take my chance again, especially after I bought the bar. I just love these glasses. I, I don't know. I just love them. So they're really, really nice, like absolutely stunning. And I feel like I don't see glasses like these very often. So I got these little whiskey I'm not sure what they're called. Let me see what they're called. They're just whiskey glasses. I got these and they're just so delicate. They're nice and thin, which I think are some of the best glasses to drink out of. When you're drinking out of a thin glass, especially when it comes to cocktails, the whole thing is better. <laughs> they are absolutely beautiful. Again, very delicate, very thin, but very, very luxurious. So the next thing, actually my husband bought these little individual ice containers and these make the round ice for an old-fashioned whiskey these are really commonly used but these actually don't give like the the nice quality ice but they're really really nice to have because they're so small i personally think having the nicer quality ice makes for a better cocktail as well. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes even when I'm drinking water or a cocktail and your ice starts to melt, you can almost taste like the freezer ice. I don't know. Again, I might sound crazy, but I picked up this ice little thing here. Basically this, it takes up a lot of space, which I think is the con about it. But this actually, it, it creates those nice ice cubes that are clear and don't have like the fogginess of the ice, which I think brings flavor into, and not in a good way, to the drink. These really allow for it to be more pure. I really hope that makes sense. But if you're into cocktails, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it has taken me so long to buy one of these just because I knew that they were like a little bit bigger and gonna take up space. We have a really small freezer. I think it's worth it. We really do enjoy cocktails in our home. So I felt like it was time to invest into some high quality ice. <laughs> I was in Oregon and we went to Provisions in Eugene, which is like this store that has a lot of kitchen goods. It has a coffee shop in there. It has, you can buy some, local meats, it has just very, very curated items and I absolutely love it. But I was maxed out of space when it came to my luggage, so there was a couple of things I had my eye on and I got on Amazon right there and bought them. You love to hate Amazon because it's right there, but that's what I did and the first thing I got was this little bottle opener and what I loved about this is just the timelessness of it. I thought with the bone handle and the silver, it was just such nice quality. I had to have it. I just thought it was so beautiful. We have some in our home now, but they're just kind of ones that we picked up. Just kind of ones that you get for free that have like, you know, I really want to clean that up in my house and I want everything to be beautiful. And I've slowly been doing that here along with you guys throughout my journey of my YouTube channel. So you guys know, especially if you watch some of my past videos. I got this and it's beautiful. Another thing that I noticed when we were at that store in Eugene was this little feather duster and I just thought it was the cutest thing and had to have it. Again, didn't have any room in my luggage. Got on Amazon and wouldn't you know it, Amazon had it. I bought it. <laughs> but I just really loved that how it looked and I thought, even I've seen a lot of people do like their pantries or utility rooms where they do have their brooms out and they do have those different items out. So for me, again, I want everything to be beautiful and I don't know, 
I just like this and thought that if I was ever to display some of my cleaning supplies, I really do want them to be beautiful, even when it comes down to my dusters. Got this little table, broom, and dustpan. So basically, when you have like little crumbs on your table or anything that you just kind of need to sweep up, I know it sounds really silly, but me, I have an antique desk, I have a coffee table that I made that is very rigid and it gets little things down in there. And a lot of the times I will grab the vacuum, but I wanted something that I could just sweep up and kind of just do that really quickly. You could also use it for cooking, things like that. I guess I'm into like this cleaning supplies, like elevating my cleaning supplies because I have been looking at things that are cleaning supplies to that are pretty. What I really love about this little dustpan and broom over like just vacuuming this up is it dusts along with sweeping it all up. Where a vacuum, you know, you can kind of pick up the crumbs, but if you just give this like a light little sweep all around, you're essentially dusting it as well, which I am super into. I love it. And then you're also getting into all these little crevices, especially with wood pieces. I love it. I got these chip clips and I, I already love them because they're brass. I have a ton of these ones. I actually have a set of these on my Amazon storefront. But what really made me buy this one was this one specifically. I love that it has the scoop. So if you have ground coffee beans in a bag, you can scoop it out and then clip it when you're done and it's just ready to go. Your scoop is there for you every morning. And I just thought it was really cute, like a special little detail. And then this one I already had and knew that I loved. So that was easy. And then this little alligator clip. I love that it's a different look, but still a chip clip. And I know that sounds funny, but even in my pantry, having those different details and different items to basically display just really just bring me so much joy. So that little set was so cute. I have been collecting artwork for the past couple of months. You guys have watched, if you've watched some of my vintage shop with me's and home decor hauls, and it is time to hang those up. It's time to really make this apartment even more feel like a home. So I'm gonna get those hung up here very, very soon. And I need to get a couple of them framed, but once I do that, I'm gonna get those hung up. So I got some command strips. I have already put holes in our walls, but I am gonna fill those up. I thought going forward, I don't wanna make any more holes in the wall. So I bought these picture command strips and hopefully they work. I haven't used them before. Let me know if you guys have used these but I like that the little clip is at the very, very top, so it's not gonna show any of the clip or hook. It's gonna be hidden behind the picture, but it looks like because it's still that big strip, it's gonna be nice and sturdy. So, kind of random, but I thought I'd share those with you guys. And then the very last thing that I got, I was like, I cannot believe I am buying another one of these. Like, I, Brandy, you have enough. In our apartment, you could really see my collection of these because I have a lot of them. But in my mind, I think when we get into that house and that space, where I really do wanna thread these items throughout the house, it makes so much more sense in my mind. But like I said, when you come into my apartment, you're like, dang girl, like, don't you think you have enough? And no, I don't, <laughs> I need more. So what I'm talking about is vintage clay pots. I bet you already knew because I love them. I love them and they are not all the same. This is a glazed one and to be honest with you guys, so I bought this one, which is the same seller that I bought this one from that I shared with you guys in a previous Amazon home decor haul. I have been super impressed with that seller so far. These are the only two vintage items that I've purchased from them. I've only seen a couple of vintage sellers on Amazon. I really wish that there was more. I'm super impressed with the pieces that I've purchased so far. I love them and they are different. Let me see if I can get both of them. As you can see, even displaying them next to each other, they're completely different, but I just need the different vibes throughout the house. I need glaze, I need matte, I need the whole thing. Not all vintage pots are the same. All right, you guys, and those are the purchases that I've made from Amazon this month. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Amazon home decor hauls, if you wanna see more of them here on my channel. And I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye.